I'm back to complete my sphere. Of course, I'm not going to complete it today, but at least I'm going to get some of it done. And this is where I spent the night last night in my little tent on top of Jamie's Hill. And the tower is up in that direction. I don't know if you can see it because of the sun. And the dome, or the sphere rather, I keep calling it a dome, but it's a sphere, is down that hill, that deep dark hill. So let's go see how it looks. I don't know if you can make it out. Let me try and zoom in. There. Can you see it through the trees? Isn't it a thing of beauty? Yeah. Big hole near the top. And now the hole is over here, so it'll be easier for me to work on because Jamie's not going to be here today. You know, Jamie and I were using these to turn the bolt, but you know what? The girl's best friend is a lever with a nice long handle. Mm-hmm. Kind of like moving it around to like try and get places, but unfortunately it looks like this side that I'm working on is getting a little mushed and the final pieces aren't anywhere near fitting together. So. I'm going to have to figure out how to move this thing using maybe just these little, uh, these little come-alongs I have so that I can get it a little less distorted so I can actually fit the damn thing together. There is quite a stiff breeze up here on this hillside this morning. And it's pretty cold. So it's going to be a very interesting place to hang out because I gather that it gets windy like this a lot. Now, I had a slight quality control problem. Since it was the only one we had in the entire run of these things when we made them, I figured that's pretty good. But as you can see, there's no hole in this end. So I'm going to have to do it with Jamie's hand equipment up here, which is how Jamie did all 300 of his pipes for his dome. And this thing is a flattener. Oh, yeah. And I used it to just flatten the end of this a little bit more so it would fit in the next apparatus. This thing is how Jamie made all the holes in all 300 pipes, which I guess is 600 holes, which is a lot of holes. So the pipe fits in here. And I wanted to flatten it out a little more so I could get it to the right spot on mine. And over here, which is kind of a mess right now because I have other pipes here, Jamie had these little bolts that he used as stops. So he would put the end that had a hole punched in it already over this, and that would determine the length of the final bolt-to-bolt -bolt spacing, which is the only important thing. Okay, not bad. Not bad. I still have to kind of pull this little thing off, but I can do that with a pair of needle nose pliers or something. The hole is the important thing. Well, good morning. I probably look pretty crappy. I'm in the process of carrying up the cable, which will suspend the sphere. And I don't know if you can see it, but weighs about 60 pounds and because Jamie's road is all muddy from the rain, I have to bring it all the way up the mountain. So it's a slow process, but satisfying. Okay, I'm plodding up the hill. <laughs> <laughs> this is really fun. Oh, I can't tell you how much fun this is. <laughs> Very satisfying. <laughs> oh God, it's good to get that off my back. 
so all this stuff so far I've carried all the way up from the bottom of the mountain. And I hadn't haven't gotten very lucky with getting the rest of this thing together. I think I need a little Jamie Ader strength here. Because as you can see it kind of is rolling into this tree. And then when I tried to pull it with these pull things, it went against that rock and that bent two of the struts and I'm not happy about that. <laughs> Well, I have some help here. This is Rob, yeah, and of course the Jaminator, yeah. and Tiffany. And it really is nice to have more than one person to wrestle this sucker around, I have to say. Ha yeah, yeah. <laughs> ha! Look, I'm the only one working, though, you bunch of slackers. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Enough of that. Get to work. <laughs> Let's get in on the action here. <laughs> Oh yeah. Rawr! 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 That metal's not gonna get the best of Rob, no way! You can see big stuff is happening. Fear is deformed. We are going to whip it into shape. Wow, I can see it change shape before my eyes. Tiffany just saved <laughs> Rob's life because the tree that was propped up here started to fall and Tiffany ran forward and grabbed it and saved Rob. <laughs> so that was her contribution. She saved Rob's life. My contribution was like, whoa, look what's happening! I almost died! <laughs> Oh, we're going. Okay. Yes, it's working. <laughs> <laughs> you don't really have to hold it, I don't think. <laughs> How many cooks are spoiling your box? I don't know. There we go. Here it comes. Get it. I think you're reading the box. Get it on there. Wow. Is it in the box? Nope. Oh. I think you're doing okay. Close. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh, get it on, get it on quick! Oh, oh no, it's lost! Where's the nut? Where's the nut? Oh, it's on. All right, get it, go! Ah! Sorry, it was very dramatic for me. <laughs> Dude, like that's it, man. We're golden. Yeah, Tiffany's about to strangle we someone. We didn't put the washer on, though. Go. No, no, screw the washer. We'll do it later. Well, yeah, we, we, we've the achieved fear. This is that important. <laughs> this is the important part. Is we now have... A, a freaking spear! In the middle of the wood. <laughs> it's aliens! It's aliens! Oh my god, it's aliens! Now how perfect is that? To have that last ray of sunset coming in the windows when I finish it. It's going to be so cool! Well, back to civilization. <laughs>